Hey everybody, Jeff Stone here with day 45 of the year 2015 at magicreviewed.com. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Uh, today, since it's Valentine's Day, we're going to highlight or review an effect by the Valentine magician himself, Patrick Kuhn. That's right. Every year on Valentine's Day, he puts out a video that's sort of a romantic or, you know, um, picking up chicks kind of a trick or whatever. And uh, this is one of those um, kind of effects. So um, anyway, the, basically what you're getting, it's called this is called Share the Love. And I'm just going to walk you through the effect here. Uh, you start with the, you pull out this card out of an envelope, a red envelope that you pull it out, show the envelope empty, put it on the spectator's hand, show this drawing here. And then I'm not going to do the real moves here, guys, but just pass your hand over it. And it now becomes this. That was a camera trick. I didn't really do the sleight of hand there. Uh, but it becomes that, which is a, suddenly a dude appears and the heart gets half filled. The dude is, a, is supposed to be apparently you. One more pass of the hand and it becomes this, which is you holding a rose and her eyes getting all uh, little hearts on them. And then another pass of the hand and it becomes that, blank. So then you have her open up the envelope, or actually no, you open up the envelope that she's been holding though. She pulls out a card that's uh, and sees that it's this with uh, the heart not filled in anymore. And so the question is, well, what happened to the heart? You shake the envelope and a chocolate heart falls out of it or whatever you want to fall out of it. But that's what he suggests. So that's the basic routine. <coughs> you get all the cards you need. There's two different versions. There's one where you're apparently only dealing with one card the whole time. And then there's another one where it's sort of a packet trick where you're dealing with apparently three cards. These uh, two blank ones here and then the one that's all the changes are happening to. So that's the basic idea. <clears throat> it uses just pure sleight of hand and then the way these cards are printed and that's it. There's a total of uh, six cards that you get plus a special envelope that you need um, to do the effect. So uh, if you like the effect, then great. Now there's some problems though. Not with the effect, not with the sleight of hand, not with the cards. All that stuff is good. What's not so good, you will see in the trailer a picture of him holding a blank card card this is very near the beginning basically right after um uh is his name chris i think the guy with the australian accent right after him i think that's australian i don't know my accents i know all the american accents anyway um chris introduces uh the the clips that you're about to see and then you see patrick coon holding up a blank card like this and then he shakes it and it suddenly becomes this well they don't teach you how to do that on the video which I just thought, you know, I could probably figure out a way to do that, uh, except for um, I was thinking, you know, maybe you have it blank and then you just flip the card over, right? There is no card in the set that has this on one side and is blank on the back. So you that, that effect's not even possible, at least with any methods I know. He may be doing something else with some weird sort of variation of the snap change or something that I that fooled me or whatever, but I, it looked pretty much like he was turning the card over when he did that. Uh, and there's the actual, that's actually a clip from the video right there of him holding that card where it starts out blank. And then after a shake, it becomes this, you can't even do that. And they never cover it. They never discuss it in the video. That drives me crazy. Stop doing that. People, if it's in the ad trailer, it needs to be on the freaking DVD upside down. Nothing to break my rant up like a screw-up by the way I hold the video there. I'm telling you, I'm sick of that. I'm so sick of th these producers doing this. If it's on the ad trailer, put it on the DVD. Teach it. Teach us how to do it. Second thing, you, you'll see a bunch of clips of, of Patrick Kuhn walking around um, uh, doing, it for other, doing this effect for other people. You don't really see the effect. You just see their reaction to it. But then finally, at the end of the trailer... You'll see him sit down at the table with this blonde girl and he performs the full routine for her. You see everything just the way that you're taught. For everything from opening the envelope, showing it empty, taking the card out, doing all the changes, and then producing the chocolate. That is the exact routine that you're taught on the DVD, with one exception. At the very end, he takes a red envelope and turns it into a rose. It's a beautiful visual production of a rose or a transformation of an envelope to a rose. Guess what? Not taught on the DVD. 
What is the deal with that, guys? Why are you putting that in there? I personally, now you guys know that I just bumped my microphone. Sorry about that. You guys personally know that I don't make my ratings based on uh, my personal feelings about the effect. So what I'm about to say is not to affect the rating, but it's important to know my feeling about this effect to get the point across that I'm making. I don't care for the effect that you that you saw. The the changing of the heart and all that stuff. It's not my kind of magic. It's, I don't know, it's even borderline cheesy for me. But that doesn't mean I wouldn't give this kind of a product a good rating. Uh, because I, the effect you it may appeal to you. Um, but I did like that rose production. And I could see myself as a, buy, a purchaser of magic buying this DVD because I wanted to learn that rose production. I could totally see myself doing that. Now, luckily, I didn't have to pay the 35 bucks. I got a review copy that I didn't have to pay for. But uh, if I had paid 35 bucks for this, I would have been pretty ticked off that I didn't get to learn that rose production. So, again, Sans Minds, wake up. If it's in the ad trailer, put it on the DVD. I'm tired of that crap. Anyway, this would have been a four and a half to five star product easily if it weren't for those two things shown on the DVD or on the ad trailer that are not covered in the DVD. We got to stop this, guys. I'm tired of this kind of stuff. People spend their hard-earned money to buy your products. They're your customers. I'm not getting paid to do any of this. I'm just trying to help these people out that are spending their money. And you guys are being dishonest by not teaching this stuff in your ad trailer. Jeff steps down off of his soapbox. Final rating on this, 3.5 stars, which you lost about a star and a half just because of that ad cra trailer crap. With the stone status of Jim, because everything else, the effect is... A good um, is well taught. It, it's everything you need is here, and the the whole effect in the ad trailer is exactly what you get minus those two things I talked about: the production of the this card and the production of the rose. But everything else is totally legitimate. Um, in fact, you know what? Three stars. Stone status of gem, not three and a half. Three stars. Stone status gem with a little G. How do you like that? Maybe next time I'll drop it down to two and a half. Stop putting stuff in the ad trailers that you're not going to teach us. So I'll shut up now. Time for you guys to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and listen to the random iTunes song of the moment, which is King of Fools. King of the Fools by Twisted Sister. I love Twisted Sister, guys. I love them. I know they're like, you know, the epitome of the, the you know, the glam rock and all that with their crazy makeup and stuff. But they've got some killer music, man. And Dee Snyder is insane. But I do like the music. Anyway, that is King of the Fools by Twisted Sister. Tune in tomorrow on day 46 where we're reviewing, bam, Unreal by Joshua J. Every night this week, I've been watching a little bit of this at a time. Got, I got through all of it. It's like 10 hours of stuff. Uh, so I'll be reviewing that tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you then. Peace out. <laughs> Thank you.